an inbred family's donation which wasted £100,000 and caused headaches, will be cancelled. A family likened to the one in the movie Deliverance will no longer accept donations from the generous public who want to help them, after giving a scathing interview. A family nearly cut off from civilization has been thrust into the spotlight in recent years thanks to a documentary about them. Unbeknownst to them, Mr. and Mrs. Whitaker became famous through his YouTube channel, Soft White Underbelly, whose viewers were shocked by their living conditions. The unique family members who suffered from genetic deformities due to inbreeding made them even more appealing to viewers who wanted to root for them. Since introducing his multi-generational family to the world through a series of interviews, Soft White Underbelly's Mark Lida has launched not one but two fundraisers and raised nearly £100,000 worth of generous public donations. Collected donations, Mark said he even reached into his own pocket to pay taxes for the Whitaker's IV, at their request. We've compiled a bunch of stories about the Whitaker family from the series for you. Click here to start reading. But on Monday, everything came crashing down for a family with educational disabilities from Odd, in rural West Virginia, USA. Fellow YouTuber Tyler Oliveira has uploaded a video exploring America's poorest neighborhoods, in which he interviews people other than the internet sensation Whitaker family. Mark was so upset by the way they answered questions, especially about money, that he quit the military. Mark said he was treated like a greedy scammer within hours after Tyler's documentary was viewed more than 1.2 million times in 24 hours. The intimate and intense soft white underbelly video has been released to address the allegations head-on. And it looks like there's no going back. He asked Betty, what happened to the money? And she said. I don't know. Well, Betty knows exactly where the money went, Mark fumed. Look at the Whitakers. Their lives have improved so much since I've been here, and that's because I stood up for them every time. What hurt Mark was the implication that his family saw little of the funds raised to provide them with a shabby cabin to call home. And eventually a nicer house they could move across the street to. That's what I did. Mark emphasizes that the reality is that his family is regularly billed thousands of dollars at a time, but that he is unaware of the costs. He said, she calls me every few weeks and asks for more money, and I always ask her, what are you doing with this money? How can I spend so much money when I live in West Virginia? She said, backquote backquote I need the money. However, there was a large amount of GoFundMe money flowing between her and Larry, which is now down to zero. For Mark, that was the final straw that broke the camel's back. He admitted that fundraising has been nothing but a headache for the Whitakers and all of his interviewees. After sharing a screenshot of the evidence that the funds were transferred, he said, I'll probably never do another video with them, and it'll just leave a bad taste in my mouth after all this. Whitaker earns around $130,000, about £102,000, and it's between $77,000 and $55,000. Which he currently has, so I think it's around $130,000. According to the list, they took $100,000 on the spot. Then I saw they handed over $5 here, $5 there, $4 there, $3 there, and I gave them cash. I gave him $25,000. That's $25,000, but given that taxes have to be paid on 37% of the entire donation, who's going to pay for it? So I pay the taxes, 37%, and everything else goes to the Whitaker family. Aside from not being grateful, much less grateful, for everything Mark has done for him. Whitaker said Mark Tyler's approach to his own content is primarily what angers him. There is. It's just social media, it's frustrating that that's the world we live in, they got every penny. Wanting some closure before severing ties with her family, Mark calls Betty Whitaker to make sure she understands he's not hiding anything from her. Did. I know you paid for it, but I didn't know you paid for the house. I don't remember, answered Betty, confused. When asked if she often asks for money, she admits, I do, but there's one thing she doesn't remember. Her conversation with Tyler, Mark quipped. Maybe someone made the video digitally, 